So in this tutorial, we're just gonna be creating a 3D scan from our footage. So as you can see here, I'm using Agisoft Metashape. Um, you don't have to use this. You can use pretty much any photogrammetry tool, like Meshroom is free. The only reason I use Agisoft is because I've paid for it and it's, and it's great. So I'm not gonna go on. So we've got Metashape open here. And I'm do, all I'm going to do is just gonna load in, go to my image sequence that we've exported. I'm just gonna go to, uh, the undistorted, undistorted footage. And I'm just going to, I don't want to select all of these because that's just going to take loads of time that we don't really need to spend. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to select those ones on the left. I want it to be really quick. I don't want to waste too much time. You can select more, but so I've only loaded in what, 24 cameras. So I'm just going to go to workflow, align photos, and at highest, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to align the photos and just hope for the best. There are obviously some things in here that are not going to work, but all I'm doing for this is so we can get some correct depth from it. So it makes it easier for our camera solve, which will then make our lives a lot easier. I know that we've already gone through and tracked it and effectively finished it, but then this is like the next level of sort of like production skill set, which you'd probably need as well. Cool. So if we look at this, we can see that it's made something. We can sort of see Pickle's cage, but not very well. So I'm just going to go to my workflow and build dense cloud. I'm just going to set it to high. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but I'm hoping that this should be quick. And like I say, you can use any uh, photogrammetry software. It's um. All I'm doing is grabbing images from the image sequence and running it through, basically. We're not going to get an amazing model, but we're going to get some data, which is enough. We're going to get some geo that's enough to give us a good, really good solve and will save us a lot of pain later. So it shouldn't take too long. It's worth doing this because it just makes your life a lot easier. And the method that we'll go through in 3D Equalizer after doing this will be what you will do. If you, you will need to know this if you want to work in like big companies that work on big Hollywood films. You need you need to know that how to survey to LiDAR. If we just click up here and see our uh, high dense cloud, you can see it's done a pretty decent job actually, better than I thought. Because um, we only need spatial data and we can see even though the model that's correct kind of rubbish we can see where these are all placed in depth which is going to help us a lot so i'm just going to go to model uh, workflow and build mesh yeah i'm just going to do it on high i'm not going to change any settings i mean this is not really much of a tutorial really it's just me i'm just showing the steps of the basics of um match move I might fast forward through this. Okay, cool. So that's done. And I'm just going to change over to our mesh model. And we can see that we've got some really, like, really rubbish mesh. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us, trust me. It may not look much now, but it's going to save you some pain. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to do the last thing, build texture. We do not need an 8K map, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll just do that. And this might take a couple minutes. Cool. So that's now finally done. And we can just view our textured version as well. And look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. It's almost real life. So all I'm going to do now is uh, export this. Export the model. No. Uh... scan and I'm just going to call this uh, 3DE demo scan and I'm just going to say yes and that's going to export all the stuff out very nicely for us so next thing is to go into our 3D software I'm using Maya you can use anything that you want there's no, there's no right or wrong here you can use Blender, 
3ds max i just use maya because it's industry standard and i know it so i'm just gonna go file import just gonna navigate to by scan and import that in If we go to our shading and we can do our hardware texturing and we can kind of see that our scan is kind of put us in a not a great place so what we want to do is scale it and orientate it doing this now is just going to save us a lot of pain later so i'm going to just create a plane scale that up and i'm just going to align this to the table i mean or you can do this any way you want um, this is just the way I like to do it because it's easiest. I'm just going to find the flattest part because, as you can see, this bit here is kind of just a bit nasty. So I'm just going to pick this bit around by there. I'm just going to try to find the average because this table's not flat. So bear that in mind. We're not working with a completely flat table. As you can see here, this is more going to be, I guess, to cover up some of these lumps. But also... To align it and scale it. Well, this table really is not very flat at all, is it? Or it's just not scanned very flat, let's face it. Okay, cool. So I am pretty happy with that. So now I'm just going to... If you keyframe this now... We've always saved it in the position. So if we do remodel it and bring it back to uh, photos... Meta shape, we can uh, project the textures again. So I'm just going to get my scan mesh and middle mouse click... Uh, brought the keyboard back. I forgot about that. So I'm just going to undo that. So I'm just going to select my mesh, middle mouse click under the plane. So now the mesh is apparent of the plane. So I'm just going to move this to the second keyframe. I like to do it this way because it saves all my positions. You don't have to. I'm just going to zero all these out. So now that plane has gone all the way back to zero. And it's at the origin. I'm just going to key selected there. Cool. So now our scan is in a good place. It just needs to be scaled. So I know that this thing here, this little Allen key wrench, is 9 centimeters long. So I'm just going to make a cube. And I'm just going to make it 9 centimeters long. So now in this plane, you can turn off your selection highlighting. Go go show selection highlighting. I'm just going to select the plane and scale it up. And I'm just going to make it match the width of this. I mean, you can be more accurate with this. I'm going to be very generalist with this and get it a rough place because I know it's, it's only a demo, but you get the idea. So, I would say that we've roughly got that 9 centimeters wide. So, happy with that. So, I'm just going to delete that. Don't need that. I'm going to select my plane, and then I'm going to zero this back out. And now I'm going to lock this, because that's our key. That's our actual correct scale. But this is still not much use to us, because we need to now... We've got all our transforms on this plane. And we've got completely different transforms on here. So we need to remove this from this uh, group parent with the these transforms applied on top. So if you hold shift and press P, that will then transfer the, the scan out from the parent with everything. So it's not changed. Now all we need to do is freeze the transformations, uh, delete history, and... Uh, center object and then for just good safety measure go to modify and reset transforms 
this now puts the or uh, manipulator back. This now puts the manipulator back at the origin. Now what we need to do is export this. And I'm going to export it as an OBJ. And I'm going to make sure that I call this uh, a layout because that's had the layout. And that is pretty much it. So we'll now go back to 3D Equalizer and we'll start going through some tips on surveying and scanning to scan. Surveying points to scans. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.